it felt pretty good trying these ones on, you know. There were other, you know, cheap black cowboy boots that weren't quite it. And then, you know, I slipped these on. I mean, you know, the first time you put them on, you gotta sort of wiggle in there. They kind of fight you a little bit. But then you, you get in there, you know, and uh, it felt right, that's for sure. And, you know, it was the, so the style sort of suited me too, because, you know, with cowboy boots, I'm not a fan of, like, the square toe, really. And, like, the super-duper pointy toe, that just sort of reminds me of, like, elf shoes. You know, not really my style. So with the toes, you know, sort of a happy medium. I think, I think a cowboy would choose this kind of toe anyway. And the toe, like, isn't, like, you know, crazy longer than, like, the real toes. Which is nice, you know, you want to have a little bit of clearance there, but... I think it's only, like, three-quarters of an inch further than my real toe. So really, I mean, these boots are the boots that fit me the best. I broke them in, you know, after a while. And now, I mean, how these boots fit me is like my fingerprint, basically, completely unique to me. And, I mean, at first, you know, people sort of questioned me wearing cowboy boots just because, you know, the area I'm from, you know, not a lot of people wear cowboy boots. But I just like them, you know? My style, I don't know, I guess cowboy boots can fit in there. I mean, that's, it's not just the cowboy boots. I mean, I like, you know, having the cowboy shirts, too, and... Yeah, you know, I guess my friends sometimes would kind of, like, make fun of me or whatever. You know, oh, you want to be a cowboy now or whatever, but... Yeah, I do want to be a cowboy. Who didn't? What can I say? Cowboy knows how to survive. I, uh, I like throwing on my boots, you know, on a regular basis. I don't want to, you know, neglect these fine leather boots, that's for sure. But there are, like, different occasions that I would be more inclined to wear them. Like, I mean, if I'm going to throw on one of my cowboy shirts, then, yeah, I'm going to wear my cowboy boots. But also, you know, I don't actually have, like, really nice formal shoes, per se. I mean, these, these black leather cowboy boots are the closest thing I got to dress shoes, so... I don't know, if it fits, I'll wear them under some, you know, black dress pants if I have to. They also go with a nice pair of dark jeans, that's for sure, as you can see. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I wear them if I'm going out. I mean, some bars and clubs, you can't just go in there wearing sneakers, so... These suffice. I don't usually wear these boots like, you know, in the rain or somewhere like really, really sandy. You know, that's not good for your boots either, but I mean, sometimes they're, they're extraordinary conditions and you know, you and your boots just gotta face them together. I mean, like it's not like I go to work in cowboy boots or you know, play soccer or hacky sack in cowboy boots, but I remember there was this one time where I was actually volunteering at a summer camp, if you can believe it or not. I'm not a, you know, cold, hard person by nature. I was working at a, a kitchen at a summer camp, and it was my day off, you know, so I was, I was wearing my cowboy boots. Those are my good times boots. And uh, it was the night, actually. And there was like a crazy, crazy storm that started up, you know, it was really rainy. And like, it was dirty as hell, you know, on this island, it was just really, really muddy. And, uh, you know, we had like 300 kids or something that we had to like get together and entertain for the night. Otherwise they'd probably just run off and end up getting lost and we'd get all sued and lose our jobs. So my friend who was in charge, he said, Mark, I know it's your day off, but you gotta help me. And I said, all right, fine. I asked him, like, what do you need? And he said, like, I need you to find me a bunch of heavy rocks. And I don't even remember why. It must have been to hold down something. But here I am, running around on this island, you know, during a storm, in my cowboy boots, just picking up dirty, muddy rocks. And, you know, I really didn't even think about how it would kind of mess up my boots. I just did what was asked of me. And by the end of that night, these boots were dirty. But it was worth it. I remember, uh, 
I remember seeing Easy Rider when I was young. Probably too young to see that movie because there were some kind of messed up parts in that movie. But, you know, you'd see uh, Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper, you know, riding their choppers on the highway, wearing their boots. And I really think those boots fit in. They had those boots had to be there along with those characters because they just fit, you know, they fit like a good pair of boots. And I mean, I don't know, it kind of made me made me think about what kind of a man wears boots, you know. I don't know about you, but Peter Fonda's pretty sweet. Dennis Hopper, I mean, he's a pretty cool guy too. So those guys wear boots. I mean, what can I say? I'm interested. But it wasn't just them. I mean. I don't know, I never really, like, knew anyone before who wore cowboy boots a lot, but one person I knew well who wore cowboy boots in the movies was Clint Eastwood. I mean, that guy, he was badass. He was seriously badass. And, I mean, all those movies, all those spaghetti westerns, he had his boots, and he wore them. He walked through the desert in them. He killed bad guys with them. Maybe he was even in the bathtub shaving with him on. I don't remember, but, you know, a man that always has his boots on is a man who's prepared. What can I say? And, uh, I mean, I remember, I'm a huge Bob Dylan fan. And there's, uh, there's that one song, you know, Spanish boots and Spanish leather. Ever since I heard that song, I just thought, like, I gotta go to Spain. Get me some of those boots. I don't even know what they look like, but... If they're good enough for Bobby, they'll be good enough for me. You know, there's not a whole lot you can do with the, with your cowboy boots as far as like accessorizing or modification goes. I mean, sure, if you're really smart, you can probably fit in some crazy spring-loaded blades for killing people when you're in a jam, but that's just not practical. One thing I did want to do, though, was, you know, along with this sort of traditional style of cowboy boots is put the spurs on the on the back heels there. And uh, those are harder to find than you think. I mean, even a place that sells cowboy boots, they don't necessarily have spurs. So, I mean, I looked around. I mean, you can look on the internet and, like, a good set of spurs, I mean, that's just really expensive. And then... If you don't want to go that road, you know, you can get some, like, toy Halloween costume spurs, but let's face it, a man who's serious about his boots is just not going to get toy spurs. I mean, that's ridiculous. So in the end, I just decided that, you know, you got to take your boots as they come and accept them for what they are. Perfect on their own.